It was a sad day when Two Point University, my alma mater, closed its doors. Of course, Jumbo Megacorp had purchased the old campus with plans to turn it into the county's deepest swimming pool. But many of us have stayed hopeful that one day, TPU would rise from its soggy, chlorinated ashes and find a new home in Two Point County once again. Wouldn't that be nice? are reminded to make us proud. Hello, yes, I'm Maggie Watmore, doing my best on Campus Radio. We've got a big show for you today, but I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> no, only joking, of course. This is really fun. Let's have some music, shall we? Staff are reminded to care about students. has 
opened a new building. Good for us. I'm so disappointed in you. Thank you. And now over to Hugh and something about a hose. Uh, yes, that's right. Students were protesting a sudden spike in milkshake prices. I'm told that proceedings were fairly peaceful until a rogue beach ball struck an attendant on the arm. Things got a little tasty and a garden hose was even used on one student who described himself as fine, just a bit wet. I'll be here bringing you the updates as the story develops. Back to you. are reminded to figure it out themselves. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. And now, Wanda, with an update on the latest campus fashion trends. A 
anyone who someone is wearing their shoelaces untied. This trend is here to stay. Oh, there really is something about seeing all those laces dancing in the wind. Yes, we may have seen a fairly drastic uptake in people falling down, but this is the price you pay for fashion. You weren't listening. You were asleep. I saw you. The campus has opened a new building. Good for us. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. New to the Cromley student range. Fish in a box. We at Crumley have been serving fish to Two Point County for over 10 years. It's a proud tradition, and now it's a tradition in a box. Easy to cook. Wow. Tasty to eat. Wow. You're not sure what it is, but it's definitely in a box. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Frequently asked questions. You can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you.
Some announcements are closer than they appear. Thank you. are reminded that school spirit is infectious. Go us! end of today's show. Didn't that fly by? I wasn't timing it or anything, but if I was, I think I'd see that we finished 35 seconds early. I've been Maggie Watmore. I'll be back tomorrow for my next allotted segment. Bye for now. Students are reminded to set reminders. to the janitorial staff. I'm sure you've done something.
to maintain vector. Thank you. Shouldn't you be working? asked questions, yes, classes are technically optional, and so is failing. Good morning. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. Janitor required to repair training pod.
questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. It's funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the hog log lady. Students are reminded to find themselves. that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. are reminded to fork it over.
Recently, while walking home, I was chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha, young people, eh? The terrifying scamps. You would have better grades if you weren't so stupid. that some of you are doing better than others. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. Cheesy Gubbins, the only thing you can count on.
You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Here's the weather. Things are looking cold on the pointy mountains. You might want to wear a second pair of shoes. I suppose skis are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin toboggans. Play that music. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying.
The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. joined an amateur plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem you can't make worse. gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. In the news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. Fans are debating whether this latest post is a cryptic suggestion of music to come or simply a kitchen-based mistake. It's hard to say, but what is clear is that we'll be discussing it for days. Announcement. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever.
unauthorised talking on campus. Thank you. Students are asked not to ask questions. That's the end of our show, but I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Here's to that. Here's to time's relentless advance. Here's to you, Two Point County. Playing this out, we've got an absolute firecracker. Good night! are reminded that some grades are personal. where your class is, is it really worth going?
drink some water. Thank you. Welcome back, fellow students. It's me, DJ Shorts, keeping me finger on the pulse of Two Point County so you didn't have to. Today's topic, would Jasmine Odyssey be cooler if she was less popular? I didn't want to spoil it for you, but the answer is yes. Here's a uh, pretty niche favourite of mine from an actor I cannot even pronounce the name of. It's pretty challenging stuff. Check it out. Janitor required in lecture theatre.
Man, I hear a lot of talk about snacks on covers. Although it's pretty derivative student chat, there's something I've got to say. Sure, cheesy gubbins are, well, fine. But if you're looking for a truly superior snack, you should try Grub Grubs, the snack that's made from real naturally expired insects. You might think I sound a bit crazy, I realize that, but I really appreciate the subtle taste. They do take a few months to arrive. Despite the rumours, the campus grounds are not a toilet. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework.
Now, it's time for a student story about a bakery that's jam-packed no more. Hugh, what have you got for us? I'm here at Old Widget Bakery in Hogsport, where for generations local students have been enjoying traditional jam donuts. But sadly, the sweetness ends here. The machine that fills the donuts with delicious fruity mixtures, such as red and green, has been suffering from jam rot and finally went out of commission today. To honor the machine, the bakery is serving donuts filled with nothing. They may seem hollow, but their taste is one of poignancy. A fitting farewell to a fine confectionery friend. Starting next week, the bakery will be back up and running with a new machine looking to make new memories and serve lots of donuts. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. At Milkmaid, we use real dairy-style ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of Milkmaid is eerily similar to the last. Wow! Mmm, Milkmaid. Now that's good milk. Mm. Not technically milk. to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will?
instructed to try and keep up. Compass Radio, some of the team were a little concerned to hear that our listenership has gone down over the past few months. But frankly, I'm not sure that I agree. I'd much rather our little radio community stay as small as possible. I don't want the crowd ruining it and taking us from a cool underground scene to something bland and mainstream. In fact, my dream would be pretty much no one listening at all. Just me, talking to myself, for myself. Oh dear, now that would be pretty excellent. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. The end of 
peer results have been released. Luck won't help you now. The academic year is now over. asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. Campus has opened a new building. Good for us. On Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man and his hatchback. It's a... as old as time. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil.
culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wonder in puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Students should report all issues to someone that cares. assignments if you think you have time. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. <sighs> asked questions. No, I wasn't listening.
Skills are not transferable. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. are reminded to be constantly upbeat. How do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents even more. Even more. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
visitors, please leave soon. Thank you. I'm a huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Return to the hospital. Thank you.
I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Students are reminded that you're letting everyone down. This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volleyball is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho, 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. That's a winner. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Despite the rumours, the campus grounds are not a toilet.
reaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. assignments if you think you have time. Results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Radio. Forget what you're doing and give in to the saccharine melodies of my voice. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, and you may not know it, but you've just made a wonderful decision. The finest radio show in town, coming right up. Failing students are reminded that you're letting everyone down. <laughs>
Staff are reminded to care about students. On Sir Nigel Reviews, we'll be talking about a modern beat combo, a group that call themselves the Helium Baboons. I must admit, while it may not be my usual cup of beef tea, for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Helium Baboons, not as bad as I feared they would be. Two shrugs out of a possible five. Are reminded that some of you are doing better than others.
kids are reminded to have the time of their lives. It's time for Spill the Tea, where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Points youth as ambitionless nitwits, and I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, Foolhardy, crass, smelly, and generally hopeless. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. are reminded that school spirit is infectious. Go us! asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. The campus has opened a new building. Good for us. Waiter, waiter! Oh, the service here is terrible! You could go out. Or you could stay in. <sighs> With a bowl of hog logs. You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. Only hog log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. are reminded that you came here on purpose. The campus has opened a new building. Good for us. Thank you. 
Now, for the results of last week's sonnet writing competition, I must say I was appalled, if not surprised. They were lacking structure, they were lacking soul. Some of you wouldn't know an I am from a dactyl. We'll be rolling the competition on to next week, so send in your sonnets. They can't get any worse.
My respect for those that choose chivalric and knightly pursuits. Well, it's really very large. The Bickleworths, after all, come from a rich and prestigious line of people on and near horses. That being said, feudal aristocracy used their hands far too much for my liking. The swordsmanship, the adventuring. Have you ever held a lance? It's a chore. If you're so important, why are you doing all that work? Rule smarter, not harder. Students should report all issues to someone that cares.